Manly Friday, and this is the Valley's Most In-Depth Weather Forecast video. Weather for Weather Geeks, quick video tonight with a pretty quiet weekend coming up. So let's get right to it. Uh, as expected, it's turned out to be a relatively crummy uh, second half of our Friday with rain and wind and cold temperatures. And as of about 7.20 p.m., here's a look at some rain gauge values across the area. Generally, half an inch to two-thirds of an inch, three-quarters of an inch in some spots uh, has fallen thus far. We're on our way to an average of about an inch, give or take, by the end of the night tonight. And with this rain around, no surprise that the Weather Service uh, in Cleveland went ahead and issued a, uh, a, fl a flood warning for areas around Eagle Creek, uh, Phalanx Station, around uh, southwestern Trumbull County. Uh, below flood stage as of the latest observation, but expected to crest uh, at about 11 and a half feet by tomorrow morning. That's about two feet above, above uh, flood stage. It should recede then later on Saturday and into Saturday night. And right on schedule, the wind really started to pick up this afternoon. At the top of the hour at 7 o'clock, we registered a wind gust at the Youngstown Warren Airport of 43 miles per hour and an occasional gust of 45 or so. Is going to be a possibility early this evening with stronger winds, of course, so with uh, uh, mountainous areas south and east of Pittsburgh getting 60 to 70 mile per hour winds, I think, before this evening is through. That's why high wind warnings are out down there. The radar, interesting as of 724, we've actually gotten into a little bit of a dry slot after steady rain, but this uh, won't last long. As you can see, showers at this point are lurking just off to our south and west. Won't spend much time on this. Most of you will be watching this uh, well afterwards, but uh, we were going to get wet, uh, certainly, before the evening is through. Earlier we had a, a tornado watch, several tornado watches from southern Ohio, down through Kentucky, parts of the Tennessee Valley had tornado watches today, parts of the Carolinas, uh, Georgia. We've had a tornado warning east of Cincinnati for a time earlier on this afternoon. We've got the isobars plotted up this evening, and boy, there's a lot of them. This is a strong area of low pressure moving through Ohio this evening, the center of which uh, near Lima as of this recording, there's actually quite a bit of lightning up in the colder air, up in uh, the snow zone, up towards Detroit. Thunder snow, pretty common right now in Detroit and Windsor, and heading over towards London, Ontario. Uh, for us, a clap of thunder is going to be a possibility this evening as this next batch moves through, but not expecting any severe weather around here. All right, I did not mean to include that graphic. As we go into the weekend... Uh, the rain will taper off late tonight, maybe a couple of flurries around at the start of our Saturday. The bulk of Saturday is going to be pretty cloudy. That's going to be the flavor of the day. So we go towards late afternoon, say 4 o'clock or so. I think some of us are going to try to break out into some sun uh, from west to east. Some of us are going to hang out of the clouds, but especially if you're, if you're southwest of Youngstown, down towards, say, Sebring, Hanoverton, Minerva, even down towards East Liverpool, places like that. You'll probably see the sky brighten before Saturday afternoons through. Weak disturbance pivots through then Saturday night, Sunday morning, but Sunday afternoon looking good. I think we'll see a fair amount of sunshine for our Sunday afternoon, and then a warm front heads our way Monday. This is the warm front that will usher in 60-degree air for one day on Monday. You know, we've been in a pattern, of course, where it gets warm during the middle of the week, Wednesday and Thursday, but this is the grand finale. It's coming earlier in the week than uh, we've gotten used to. Uh, a warm day Monday, but after that, here comes the pattern change. It's going to be a chilly start to the weekend. No better than about 41 on Saturday and about freezing Saturday night. Back to 49 or 50 in most spots Sunday afternoon. Again, a brighter second half of the weekend, but you'll see how the jet stream evolves here over the next uh, 10 days, really starting middle of next week and taking us beyond that. Uh, this uh, becomes a much more amplified jet across a lot of the eastern two-thirds of the country. So the, the jet pops up a little bit, a little ridge on the west coast. Downstream of that, pretty good troughing. Now, it's too early to hang our hat on any sort of you know, solution in terms of any winter storm potential, but I'm going to keep my eye on next weekend and the following week. I think the, the pattern will be ripe for some sort of winter weather mischief somewhere. Might not be here, but somewhere in the eastern U.S., the pattern will probably be ripe for someone to finally get a decent amount of snow or mixed precipitation or something other than just rain. Uh, starting next weekend, I think the pattern beyond that, from next weekend and beyond, uh, will be conducive to... Uh, to finally seeing some interesting winter weather. We haven't drawn a snow map in weeks. We haven't talked about, we haven't used a lot of our winter weather graphics in weeks and weeks and weeks. It's really been since late December since we've had anything of great interest, just nickel and dime stuff earlier on in January. But of course, February was a non-event winter weather-wise. And yeah, we, we are getting a little rusty with our winter weather forecasting. We need a little refresher here, I think, as we head towards uh, mid-March. And uh, yeah, it's looking more and more likely that March 
ultimately is going to be colder than February this year and maybe by a fair margin. It's a pretty cold looking pattern, I think. Uh, starting next week and taking us through the end of the month at least. Thanks for watching Weather for Weather Geeks tonight and all week. I appreciate everyone for tuning in each and every weekday night about the same time, about 7, 7.30 is when we get these uh, videos online. I'll see you back here on Monday with an update on next week's forecast and we'll of course start talking more about that longer range outlook and possibilities of wintry weather as we head deeper into March. <laughs>